So I'm at Friends Animal Sanctuary today and I'm here to help out with the animals and do whatever needs to be done. So that might be feeding them or cleaning them out or giving the animals fresh hay or moving things around, whatever, I don't mind. Uh, I'm here for the day and I just want to really uh, spend time with the animals, the ones that have got, had the lucky escape and have been rescued so they don't need to worry about slaughter or bad treatment or anything else because these guys are the ones that were rescued so uh, I just thought I'd bring my camera along today and show you some of the scenes here and the volunteers helping out. I'm spinning in circles right straight out of light With every excuse I'm falling behind So great. So these guys are the lucky ones. These are the ones that escaped really bad treatment and then eventually slaughter. So they, these guys have got here by uh, either being donated by farmers that no longer want to practice in the animal agriculture industry anymore. There's so many farmers now that are actually choosing to farm plants now instead of animals. It's much more sustainable and obviously it's a much more ethical uh, and planet friendly choice as well. So um, it's either they've either got here that way or have been rescued by activists. And it's just amazing just to see these animals in the state where they're relaxed and they're being treated well. They've got all their needs met. They can just live out their life now in peace without any fear of harm or bad treatment or slaughter and it's just as a vegan activist it is just so wonderful to be here and to be around happy animals uh, it just is such a lovely part of being a vegan because obviously when you're an active vegan you're always talking to people and out there um, giving people the facts of what happens to these animals in, in the majority of cases but to actually be here where the animals are safe and happy it just fills me with like so much happiness uh, it just is such a wonderful place to be One thing that just really strikes me about being around these animals that have been rescued and are like the lucky ones is just like how unnecessary it is for us to be taking these animals and breeding them into existence in the first place and then mutilating them to enable them to be able to live in overpacked conditions. So the mutilation is like taking their teeth out and cutting their tails and then yeah, keeping them in horrific conditions with the view to then slaughter them and it just makes no sense at all when we have incredible plant-based options it's just such an act of um, cognitive dissonance and to actually be around these creatures where they're just in their happy state they're just living their life it's just so wonderful to see and also just the fact that you know what right do we have to take their whole life from them because you know we only have one chance at life and for us to take it just for a 10 minute meal for a sausage roll or whatever it just 
it seems so barbaric to me when we have other options and we don't need to be healthy and to survive. And if you've got an animal sanctuary near you and you have a day or half a day spare, why not make contact with them and find out if you can help and volunteer with them? Whether that's be like feeding the animals or uh, cleaning them out or giving them fresh hay or moving things around, whatever needs to be done. It's just a really worthwhile part um, of a charity work that you could do. wake up and realise that there is actually no need for us to be uh, killing and enslaving and torturing animals just for our own personal benefit and our own taste buds and um, there are plant-based alternatives available now and they're so amazing and so easy to find every single supermarket now has their own vegan range you can go to pretty much any restaurant and cafe now in most cities and get vegan options and it's like we have a choice in the moment of supporting this industry or not supporting this industry and supporting a plant-based industry and it's like when we see these guys that have been rescued and they're in the happiest state and they're just milling around eating and sleeping and just living out their life in peace it really does feel like it's the right thing for us to be doing and it, as a vegan activist it gives me so much more hope for the future for these animals that more and more will end up in sanctuaries and that we will see, see people make more conscious and informed decisions about how they source their food and what they choose to eat. Thank you so much for watching my video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'm going to leave the links below to Friends Farm Animal Sanctuary so if you would like to donate anything then please use the links below and they'll get it directly. Um, thank you so much guys and I'll see you in another video.